In this video, we're going to be looking at something uh, special called the Bernoulli equations. And Bernoulli equations are a kind of change of variables, or we're going to use a change of variables to solve them. But we're also going to like pretty much use first order linear techniques in order to solve them as well. So we'll do a change of variables in order to, in fact, solve the first order linear differential equation. Okay. So first, let's define a Bernoulli equation. It's a differential equation that can be written in the form of dy dx plus p of xy is going to equal q of xy to the n, where p of x and q of x are functions of x only, right? And y to the n doesn't represent a derivative, but instead represents y to a particular power, okay? So that's actually going to be really important. Notice that this is not, at the moment, linear, okay? Um, because we have functions of y inside of the, the right-hand side. So we can't actually utilize our linear techniques um, in this moment, but we're gonna look at how we, it is that we might be able to do that. So our form is gonna end up being dy dx plus p of xy equals q of x y to the n. So I'm gonna conduct a change of variables here and but first, before I do that, I'm going to divide through by y to the n. So what that gives me then is y to the negative n dy dx plus um, p of x times y to the negative n plus 1. Okay, because we're going to divide y divided by y to the negative n, right? It's going to be negative n plus 1 equals just q of x now. And I'll rewrite that now as y to the negative n dy dx plus p of x y to the 1 minus n equals q of x. So now what I want to do is I want to actually go in and do my change of variables. So I'm going to let u of x equal y to the 1 minus n. So du dx we'll take the derivative with respect to x, is going to end up equaling 1 minus n times y to the 1 minus n times dy dx. Or excuse me, y to the 1 minus n plus 1. 1 minus, 1 minus n minus 1, excuse me. So 1 minus n minus 1 times dy dx. And so that gives me that du dx is equal to 1 minus n y to the negative n dy dx. Now notice, just like any other substitution that we're going to do, that this y to the negative n dy dx is over here on this side, on the left-hand side. And so we want to actually like make it so that we can, in fact, do the substitution. So I'm going to divide through by the 1 over uh, the 1 minus n. So I'm, that's going to give me then 1 over 1 minus n times y to the negative, uh, excuse me, times du dx equals y to the negative n dy dx. Okay, so now what we've done is we've actually constructed something that we can use in order to substitute. Okay, so that gives me 1 over 1 minus n du dx plus and this will end up being p of x times u of x, okay, equals q of x. If we go in now and multiply by n minus 1 all the way through, we get du dx plus n minus 1 times p of x times u of x equals n minus 1 times q of x. This is a first order linear differential equation in u. And so consequently, we can use our integrating factor now. So that's essentially what's going to end up happening. We're going to end up generating, we're going to figure out what it is that we're going to want to uh, do our substitution for. And as I said before, it's going to end up being y to the 1 minus n. That's where we're going to substitute. We'll take the derivative just like as if we were doing any other substitution. Okay, and you know, basically generate this form. 1 over 1 minus n times du dx is going to be what we substitute in here for this original value. Okay, 
Once we've got that, then we go in, we've got now a first order linear differential equation just in U, okay? So after we go through and we do all of our um, integrating factor in order to solve the first order linear differential equation, what we'll do is we'll go back in and we'll resubstitute back in for uh, U of X. So it'll probably be easier to just take a look at a, uh, an example. Let's take dy dx plus three over x y equals 27y to the one third natural log of x. So now what we ought to notice is that this is not in fact first order linear because of the y to the one third right here. Um, but what we can do is we, we do want to notice that it is a Bernoulli's form, okay? We've got a y to the n. So in this case, n is gonna equal one third, okay? Now, I'm gonna go through the entire process in order to generate the process, but there's also basically that form that we saw earlier that you can also utilize. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna divide through by one, y to the one third. Okay, and so what that's gonna give me then is it's gonna give me y to the negative one third dy dx plus three over x, and then it's gonna end up being y to the two thirds, okay, because it's gonna be y one minus one third, so that's gonna be y to the two thirds, equals 27 times the natural log of x, okay? Now what you wanna notice here is basically if you took the derivative of y to the two thirds, so you take the derivative of this term, you're gonna get something times y to the negative one third. And that's what we're gonna play into it. That's that substitution that we get from, say for example, from calculus. We've seen that before. So I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make it u is gonna equal y to the two thirds. So my u is always going to be that power of y that's over here in, that's not being multiplied by the derivative uh, dy dx, okay? So we've got y to the two thirds, and that's gonna equal um, u. Then du dx is gonna equal then two thirds y to the negative one third dy dx. Now note that we wanna get something that we can substitute in for this term right here. So I'll multiply by three halves. So this is then gonna give me three halves du dx equals y to the negative one third dy dx. So now I'm just gonna substitute back in. 3 halves du dx is y to the negative one third dy dx. So I'm gonna get 3 halves du dx plus 3 over x times u, right? Because u is y to the two thirds equals 27 natural log of x. Now I'll multiply through by two thirds. So this gives me now d it, so multiply by two thirds. This is gonna give me then du dx plus two over x u equals nine halves natural log of x. And now what you notice, this is first order linear in u. So now I'm gonna utilize my integrating factor in order to solve this. Notice that P of X is gonna equal two over X. So my integrating factor I of X is gonna equal E to the integral of two over X DX, which is equal to E to the two times the natural log of X, which is gonna equal E to the natural log of X squared, which is just simply gonna equal X squared then. So that's my integrating factor. I'm now gonna end up with x squared u prime is gonna equal nine halves x squared natural log of x. In order to solve this, I'm gonna to have to take the integral of both sides. So I take the integral of x squared u prime dx, and that'll equal the integral of nine halves x squared natural log of x. Utilizing integration by parts, we'll end up. So what this will give me is x squared u will equal three halves x cubed times the natural log of x minus one plus 
some constant c. We'll divide through by x squared, and that'll give me u equals 3 halves x times the natural log of x minus 1 plus c. And then what we'll do is we'll then go in and we'll replace, we're going to substitute. In this case, y equals two, uh, excuse me, u equals y to the two thirds. So we'll get y to the two thirds equals three halves x times the natural log of x minus one plus c. And then to find y, we'll just simply let y equal, okay, and we'll just write it like this, three halves x times the natural log of x minus one plus c to the three halves, right? So take the cubit and then take the square root, in other words. And that is, in fact, our solution. So let's go back and take a look at this. So I'm gonna go in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my equation and I'm gonna divide through by this power of y, okay? So this power of y, the y that's on the right-hand side, the power of y that's on the right-hand side. That'll give me a form that I can then use through substitution. I'm going to take um, u to equal the power of y that's uh, not next to dy dx, okay? So it's gonna be the one that's inside of our, uh, um, yeah, three over x, y to the two thirds. It's one that's not gonna be multiplied by the derivative. Okay, then I'm going to solve for du dx, okay, and in fact then, so that I can then make the substitution. And so here's the substitution right here, substituting in that 3 halves du dx and in for u, and then it's first order linear of u, and then I'm just going to utilize my first order linear techniques, okay, till I finish um, integrating and find out what u is. Once I've figured out what u is, then I can go in and substitute u for y, uh, y to the two-thirds, or for whatever I substituted in y for, okay? And that's the process of solving Bernoulli's equations. So anytime we see something of this form, or the form of the Bernoulli equations, we can utilize this technique in order to solve, all right? That ends the video.